nice little uh, weldy penis mark from Dougie that now won't come off. Camera just keeps fucking off. Wow, look at the big reveal. <laughs> it looks great. This is living it up. Everybody that be living it up to say what? I, I actually can't rap. So um, what we're doing here is welcome back, welcome back. It feels like ages because there's kind of gaps in between progress lately because we haven't really been doing a whole lot. But uh, we're hoping to pick things up now, or at least I'm hoping to pick things up and get this in paint tomorrow night. What we're going to do is paint the inside and paint the engine bay and then start putting it back together. Put some paint in here. The last thing we're going to do is paint the outside of the car. That's going to be the very final stage. So I'm going to milk this for as long as I can until the end. The bay is pretty much ready to rock. We're going to just do the last little bit of prep in here. We've done some last year, you've seen in the video, but because we've just been a year, we're just going to do it again. Make sure it's all A1. Uh, just give it a nice scotch. Flip already rubbed most of it down again, just to scuff it up. So the paint will bite. Fairly fucking exciting. We are going to seal the engine bay now tonight. I was going to leave a lot of these wells exposed, but I don't think I'm going to do that now because we live in Ireland and moisture likes to get in behind all of this exactly shit. Where it's going to go. Yeah, and as cool as this looks and as great as it looks on like track cars and race cars and whatever and stuff. I'm going to have this car for a long time and uh, we've done a good bond under here but I'm just going to, I'd just rather be safe than sorry so we're going to just, we're just going to go over some stuff. Here, in here, along here, stepped on something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anywhere we see a little up gap. Up here, up here. No, this will all be fucking hidden away anyway. So yeah. Yeah. We're just overdoing it more so than Toyota did because there wasn't even any on any of the parts in here from factory but Rather be safe than sorry. This is where the battery tray used to be. It's gone now because we're not going to run the battery tray. We're going to run the battery in here somewhere. Come with us while we do the last of it. The last of Barry's work, just been hidden. Barry's got to come back to do a little bit more. We haven't really thought it out yet, but the idea is to sit the car on the arches and then do the arches. So we're probably going to have to touch up some of the inside of the car. There's little bits of stuff here and shit, so we still have a little bit more of Barry. It's making more work for us, but whatever. I want the arches to be perfect and just built to the car, so we're going to assemble the whole thing, put it on wheels and see what happens. So, kind of cool, maybe assemble it over here and then wheel it back to the other shed. Two years, I probably, yeah, two years and maybe two months this thing has been like this. So, I'm sick of looking at it like this. I'm sick of looking at this colour. So we're going to put another colour on it and I'll probably hate that too. Nice little uh, weldy penis mark from Dougie. That now won't come off. He's bad at drawing penises. Yeah, he draws a shit penis. He draws a turkey, or the penis. It's like a, a turkey penis. We're just going to paint over the grommets because we haven't just sealed in. doesn't matter. And uh, there's supposed to be little metal things that go here but I'm going to leave them out because we're going to end up filling the chassis rails with, with cavity wax. And eventually I'll probably just put some metal foil tape on, on the ones that you can't see. Because uh, the sound deadening actually bonds these in. And then when you take out the sound deadening they fall out with it. So I'm not going to weld them in because I'd like to have access to my chassis rails. Just because just it's nice to look at. So you told me to weld these little holes. But they're actually in the shell from factory. All the, all the 8.6s have them. Just like a little weird vent. I thought it was a rip in the in the shell. Don't need to go too crazy on it. But uh, this is very exciting. I've waited two years for this shit, so yeah. Fucking unreal. Quite a web you've constructed here. Goodbye, web. Also doubles as a, a, a willy cover <laughs> or a vagina, depending on which way you want to offer it up. <laughs> you can put your hand in there, not me. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> That's great.
hidden sand pockets that emerge. Yeah. Because that's going to happen. And they'll all happen while you're painting, what? It's been so long that I actually don't feel like I ever really owned an A6. Fun? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was good. That stuff is uh, shit. Shit, yeah. Oh, okay. It's too wet. Mm. Up there it looked ugly because you can still see the, yeah. the wells. But. Yeah, so it's the next day from last night, which was another day. <laughs> the so the shell is in the spray boot. Uh, Flip is having the really fun task of masking it up. We put so much work on ourselves, it's kind of funny because we didn't paint it all in one go. So it was all masked up to do this under stuff which we've done a couple of months ago with Jackie. Then we masked everything up to just do the engine bay painted or the primer so we could rub it down. And now we're masking the whole shell up because we don't want to paint the outside because we're painting the inside a different colour. So we can keep the shittiness of the outside because we just want to do a great joke where it's all mint and it's assembled and the outside of it still looks like it originally did. So we may never paint the car. No, we actually, we are painting the car but it'll look really, really funny for a little while. Last night, we rubbed everything down. We're just gonna wipe it down then with panel wipe and uh, yeah, get it ready then and put some, put some, put some product on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> the sealer we used last night was shit. shit. It's still a little bit tacky. So. Let's be able to get in here. How will this go? Kind of worth it. Yeah. And then you just put your nose through the other way. last thing. <laughs> go, go again. <laughs> we won't reveal the colour until we actually put it on the car. I'm not excited yet. I'm actually kind of nervous. Just because I've been fucking hyping this up in my head for so long. I'm very excited to not see these colours anymore. Just... I'm the first time seeing this when we took off the fucking... 
sound deadening and it was a misery so and all of Barry's work but his his name is signed here forever so if anyone ever steals the car it'll be a good reference hey let me take off your dashboard there and I just check if it's my car Great job there. yeah Oh, it's not the car. <laughs> Sorry, wrong car. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited to lose the million different colours in here. Even when we painted the engine bay, or primed the engine bay, just the uniform finish is very pleasing. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm just going to put the tape down here and put the masking tape onto the... Okay. Evan's uh, trolley. It's actually a trolley for a, a bed in a hospital. So, people have probably died on this bed and now we're using it to resurrect. We're using it to bring something back to life. Wow. Wow. How, um, <laughs> How spiritual and deep. Yeah, this is a, a trolley from a hospital in Waterford. Arkeen Hospital trolley. I wonder if the paper is supposed to be the weird brown colour. Or it was white. Or it used to be white. We've been trying to work off the pallet to mask the car up, but the shit blue pallet is sticking out on this side, and then yeah. it's just non-existent on this side because the car isn't even sitting on the trolley properly. I think it's pretty fucking funny that we're spraying the car on a fucking trolley bed <laughs> from a hospital, and we're after stealing like the blue pallets that you're not supposed to take because these ones are the ones that years ago we used to have bonfires and we used to steal the blue pallets because they were the heaviest and they're the most expensive it's kind of forbidden to be taking them or so we were told but uh, we're using one good blue pallet and then just a shit one at the back but it's such a dodgy setup it's great I'm just too lazy to take it off this it's quite convenient we were going to paint it on the spit but this just seems to be an easier setup so that is, uh, with no windows in it's yeah. terribly easy you can see how far the car is uh, pushed across Oh yeah, yeah, the trolley bed. I totally forgot, but it's great. <laughs> ah, only a serious masking job. It's like a skirt. All this effort to preserve the shit on the outside. Yeah, I know, yeah. It's great. Shit, she looks great like that now. That looks lovely. It, you know what this looks like right now? Come over. It looks like what an 86 would look like in the future. It looks like a hover car. Yeah. It's got no wheel toes, but it still looks like an 86. So it's like an artist's impression of a futuristic 86. So Elon Musk, if you're watching. It'd be funny at the end to add up how many cars have made this car. Yeah, a few. There's been a few. So you tried to buy a new suit this morning, but they're out of stock. I don't know. This one's still okay. The old faithful. <laughs> you know what's funny? Look through this. Look. It looks like there's no phone there. It looks like it's just outside. <laughs> just a total yeah. headphone. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's any there's camera there. there. <laughs> it's the most high tech box ever. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant.
נכון? No stop please good Yes army like it's not it's very cool it's exactly what i wanted still going off you can see it's still a bit of dull shine here where the paint is I know the roof started itself out, that's great. Oh man, I love this. Yeah, that's ex this is ex exactly what I wanted. Thank you. The camera just keeps fucking up. Wow, look at the big reveal. It looks great. Right. Man, it's so good seeing all this one color. Holy fucking shit. Unreal. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. It just looks factory. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. He reacted. He reacted. And so did he. I don't know why. Fine, fine, all fine. Which is like, why is it just these bits? It's like the sealer that was going that way reacted. Deadly. <laughs> so fucking up. Still, yeah, it's fucked. Ah! It's freezing outside and it's like fucking what 25 degrees in here? Uh, Thanks, Philip. Jesus, don't call me that. That's the first time I've ever called you Philip. On camera. Hey Philip! My grandmother would be so proud. She'd be so proud. It looks like matte black on camera because of the light. Yeah. But uh, it's actually satin. Satin gunmetal. Is that showing up? Kinda. Yeah, there. You can see the glare in it. So it's a satin gun metal that still has a glare to it. But I like the, the factory finish that's in engine bays and inside cars. I love the TRD grey that Tsuchiya has in his car. And a lot of the N2 cars and other various race cars are usually finished with a gun metal. So I decided to go for a gun metal with a factory finish. It's first, first doors. so cool to see all this, the one colour. Uh, so much excitement. It's great, man. It's very satisfying. First time I watch you do with the march, just looking in the window and watching it all just go. Oh yeah, Barry's name is forever sealed. Yeah, this is great. Very, very, very excited.